entire automotive world today is moving towards the use of electric vehicles. In Russia the situation is different, because in the depths of the country there are huge reserves of natural gas. It is not surprising that in the market for cars, trucks and construction equipment today there is a struggle between two promising areas, methane and electric. Let's see what new models have been developed by those who have relied on methane as fuel for cars and tractors. I'll start with heavy construction equipment. If these cars are painted blue, it means they were developed to order from Gazprom. Gazprom is one of the world's largest gas producing companies. Instead of a diesel engine, the DST Ural front loader was equipped with a gas engine produced in Russia with a capacity of 312 horsepower. For a year and a half, this loader was tested using both compressed gas and liquefied gas. Now the loader runs on liquefied gas. A cryogenic fuel tank is mounted on the right rear wing. In such a tank, methane is stored in liquefied form, cooled to a temperature of minus 160 degrees Celsius. Liquefied gas as a fuel is preferable to compressed gas since the cryogenic tank is more compact and provides twice the operating time. This year, new models of DSD Ural construction equipment operating on liquefied gas appeared. Firstly, this is a D10 bulldozer weighing about 20 tons, which was equipped with a Chinese gas engine with a capacity of 210 horsepower. Secondly, a heavy pipe layer with a maximum lifting capacity of 105 tons, which was equipped with a Russian YAMZ 536 CNG gas engine. The designers who developed this pipe layer call it the first gas-powered pipe layer in history. Please note, two types of gas cylinders are mounted behind its cabin. This is a cryogenic tank with a capacity of 375 liters for liquefied gas as well as two cylinders, each of which holds 50 liters of compressed gas. This is due to the fact that in some regions of Russia there are more opportunities to refuel with compressed gas, in others, with liquefied gas. It is not known in advance which of these regions the gas pipe layer will work in. And this is a bulldozer weighing 20, 25 tons, produced under the well-known Chetra brand in Russia. It was equipped with a Chinese six-cylinder gas engine running on methane, developing a power of 200 horsepower and a torque of 883 newton meters. For liquefied gas there are two cryogenic tanks located on the sides with a capacity of 375 liters each. In the exhibition pavilion they were opened, but during operation of the bulldozer these tanks will be covered with protective covers. The Rostselmash agricultural tractor was converted from diesel to gas directly at the plant that produces these tractors. Two cryogenic tanks with a total volume of 1,100 liters were installed on the rear semi-frame. The methane reserve in them is enough for 10 hours of work in the field. The gas engine is based on a serial automobile diesel engine, which has had its fuel supply system redesigned and equipped with a spark ignition system. This engine develops 380 horsepower. In October, a gas modification of the Rostselmash tractor was tested on an agricultural field in the Republic of Tatarstan. At the same time, the same tractor with a diesel engine was working in this field. In comparison, a gas tractor made it possible to significantly reduce the cost of purchasing fuel. In early November, Gazprom entered into a contract under which the Russian company Kamaz must supply it with 400 buses over the next five years. Naturally, all these buses will be gas-powered. Kamaz recently presented a prototype of such a bus, which is designed to carry 41 passengers. In the front half of the cabin it has a lower floor level. The layout of the bus resembles a commuter model, but it has the same seats as tourist buses. Soft, with armrests and a high, adjustable backrest. Above the seats there are spacious shelves for light luggage, and in the center of the cabin there is a high rack for large and heavy luggage. A Chinese gas engine with a capacity of 290 horsepower is installed in the engine compartment of the bus. It is paired with a Chinese automatic transmission. But serial buses will have a Russian-made power unit. Currently, Kamaz is completing the development of its own gas engine of the same power class, and Kamaz has already developed its own automated gearbox and is preparing for production. It was first shown in September at one of the major Russian automobile exhibitions. Another Kamaz gas engine has already been created and is now being tested. 
This is a larger engine for larger equipment. It was developed on the basis of the serially produced inline six-cylinder diesel engine of the Tibet project by Kamas, which is equipped with the latest long-haul truck tractors of the K5 family produced by Kamas. The power range of the gas engine is from 350 to 460 horsepower. For the Kamas company, the speedy launch of mass production of its own gas engines is very important, since Gazprom is currently abandoning diesel trucks in favor of gas ones, purchasing hundreds of trucks, tractors and buses with gas engines. In 2022, Kamas for the first time demonstrated a spectacular sub-bus with rear air suspension and a Chinese gas engine. This bus is designed to transport teams of workers to remote gas fields, accessible only by dirt roads. Now this project has been continued. The bus has been turned into a mobile auto repair shop. Both externally and in terms of chassis, it is the same sub-bus, but its interior has been completely transformed. The previously single interior space of the cabin is now divided into three sectors. Let's go in and have a look. The sector in the rear of the body is a work area with tool storage areas and cabinets for clean and dirty clothes. And here the kitchen is made. There is a sink, a stove with two burners, water tanks and a cupboard for dishes. Now let's move on, let's see what's in the front of this commas. In the center is the residential sector. It is a compartment with three bunks, a folding table, a three-seater seat, an upper storage compartment and a lower pull-out locker. Now we move to the front sector, where the driver's workplace is located. A folding sleeping shelf for his rest was placed on the back wall, and a spacious refrigerator was installed below, on the floor. In such a mobile workshop, a team of workers will be able to work remotely for several months. Unlike the Kamas company, the Belarusian company Maz has already mastered the production of a whole range of trucks with gas engines. Today, Russian customers under the Maz brand are offered a long-haul truck tractor, a dump truck with a 6x4 wheel arrangement, a garbage truck with a body with a capacity of 16 cubic meters, as well as a truck crane with a maximum lifting capacity of 25 tons with a telescopic boom extending to 20 meters. All of them run on compressed methane and are already being mass-produced. Now let's talk a little about the smallest and largest trucks with a gas engine that appeared on the Russian market this year. The smallest among the new models was Chistik. This is the name of the chassis with all steerable wheels, developed on the basis of components and assemblies of the serial UAS Patriot sub. Based on this chassis, a technological machine was created, equipped with a crane and equipped with a trailer with a lifting capacity of 2 tons. Another 2 tons can be transported in the dump body of the Chistik itself. The engine is a bifuel version. It can run on methane and gasoline. Two compressed gas cylinders are located on the sides of the frame, and two more are located on the roof of the cabin. The largest representative of the new gas special equipment was the Belaz mining dump truck with a lifting capacity of 90 tons. It was developed in Belarus, but is sold on the Russian market. It uses Russian components. The total weight of this giant dump truck is 170 tons. Its first sample with a methane-powered engine was handed over for trial operation to one of the Cuspus mining companies about a year and a half ago. Apparently, the operation was successful, and now the same customer has expressed a desire to purchase 10 more of these dump trucks. One of them is in front of you. Unlike the first vehicle, the new dump trucks, in addition to the main cryogenic tank with a volume of 1,400 liters, received an additional 350 liter tank. Because previously there was not enough liquefied gas in one tank to work a full 12 hour shift, now there will be enough fuel. The next gas innovation under the Belaz brand should be a giant methane-powered dump truck with a payload capacity of 130 tons. 